Hey, welcome to Graphic Pulse Television GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Miskatonic number four from Aftershock Comics. Number four. Um, so this is a series that I've been gonna kind of down on. I'll be straight up saying this is gonna be negative review. Um, you can you can turn it off now if you if you don't want to watch some negative review. Uh, it's written by Mark Sable. Giorgio Petrelli is the artist. Pippa Boland is the colorist. Dave Sharp is the letterer. Um, all right. So one I just have to say is like I never. I'm not a big. H.P. Lovecraft person, um, you know, I, I like it in some ways, but generally it's just not a, a thing that I really a, a dig, um, you know, all, all the spinoffs of it, all the, the kind of different um, of takes on it, Reanimator and all those things, like, it's just never really appealed to me, uh, partially because I'm not a huge horror fan, but you know, like, the little bit I've read, like, I, I can see why people like it. I, I like it in really small doses. Like, Hellboy doses is kind of how I enjoy it. But, you know, straight up kind of in that mythos was, was not my, not necessarily my thing. Um, you know, like, I like I like the concept. I don't like the execution is generally my, my take on it. Um, this is a series that I feel like you really need to appreciate, you know, Lovecraft, Miskatonic, you know, West, um all the concepts that are thrown out there that, that, you know, Lovecraft came up with and others kind of have uh, evolved and, and, and played in that yard. Um, and if you're not into that stuff, you're not really going to dig the series. And I fall myself, I'm the one that falls into not really digging it. So as a whole, like, I just, the series has kind of fallen flat for me. And, and partially is because I think it almost falls too much into the Lovecraft stuff. Like, all right, it's miskatonic. It takes place in, you know, the, the area where all the Lovecraft stories kind of take place in, um, what, in's mouth or whatever it is. And, you know, from there, though, it really, uh, the series up to this point, including this, felt like, you know, um, attempts to, like, name drop and allow people to be like, I know that reference, I know that reference. It's kind of more of a, a reference bingo than a story itself. Um, the series itself is interesting, so there's a bunch of, of bombings in the area, and... It catches the the uh, FBI's notice, and they go and send out an investigator. And Hoover wants to find out who it is. He thinks it is um, communists and anarchists, and you know it isn't. It's this cult that's doing this. Um, to me, I think there's a really interesting story to be told if you just focused on the like, is it anarchists? Is it the cultists? And not dive into this like crazy Lovecraft Lovecraftian world and um, you know, playing like spot the reference. It, it, there was some, there'd be something really, really interesting to say in that sort of story, and and to tell that story, and almost you know playing off of of doing kind of an, an allegory and uh, about things like the Red Scare and how the government's played up those sort of stuff to to scare people. Um, and it's you know whether or not it's true or not, whatever. Um, and I think there there been something really really neat about that, but instead it just kind of really falls into like this weird you know, cults running around setting off bombs and as I said like spot the reference um, and it's not something I've I've generally enjoyed so like as a whole I just the story I'm not digging and it's mostly because I just don't know the world and don't care about the world um, it's just very cold and. I don't know, it just doesn't... I feel like other people have done more interesting things with the concepts, and I think that might be part of the Lovecraft stuff. It just feels very like, we found a book, we have a demon, we must get rid of the demon, and save the world, and say weird words, and a demon forms, and well, we have to stop the demon, and it, like, it just doesn't seem interesting in that way. Um, the other is, the art for me just doesn't click as well. Um, the art just... I don't know what it is about it, but something just, like, I think this kind of sums everything up. That fire on that just doesn't seem interesting at all to me, and it looked good, and, like, we have these reanimated people, and, again, it just doesn't look good, and it just, the art falls flat, like, really falls flat, and, you know, if this is your thing, and you really dig Lovecraft, like, cool, check it out, you'll probably dig it, but for me, it's just... It's just a no for me. Like, I, I can't really, uh, you know, I'm not going to give this to the average person. I just think there's a lot more interesting things out there. 
Um, even like similar concepts, I think there's there's better things out there. Um, I'd just rather read Hellboy to be honest. So, yeah, I just I haven't been digging the series. Like I've really really tried, but it just it hasn't clicked for me. So, it is what it is. They all can't be winners. Really hate doing negative reviews just because I feel like people work hard on comics and I'm crapping on them. Um, but yeah, we like to be honest here. Uh, so this is out in comic shops after that uh, riveting review. You can go get it. we got a link beneath this video. I'll put in your zip code of Tuffa Shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage. Uh, by doing that, you help support our site. But really, you should go support your comic shops. And speaking of support, I want to thank Aftershock for hooking us up with a review copy. I appreciate that. And um, as always, thank you for watching. Now, if you're into comics, if you're into Aftershock, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr. All at graphic policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.